Hello everybody, I'm Suesha Savant and welcome to the Vastu Show. They say that a home is only as strong as its foundation. Very well said. Because even as per Vastu, it's not just the soil, but also the building materials, which play an extremely crucial role in building a well-balanced home. We have with us our expert, Mr. Rasesh Shah, who will tell us how building materials affect the home and its inhabitants. Hi Rasesh, welcome to the show. Hello Suesha. So Rasesh, we are talking about building materials today and how they affect the home from the Vastu point of view. How do building materials really play a role in affecting the energy balance of a home? You know Suesha, I've always been highlighting the fact that Vastu is not only about directions. It is much more than that. Uh, we've already uh, discussed that how astrology plays a role in Vastu. Uh, with astrology, the building materials, the surface finishes, uh, the illumination intensity, uh, everything has a role to play. Uh, building materials have an energy imprint of their own. Our ancestors uh, were very intelligent and the way they used building materials was also very interesting. Most of the building materials that they used were organic. Today, we have synthetic building materials and because uh, these materials are manufactured in, it, in an industry, uh, they create so much of negativity in the natural rhythm and the natural movement in the energy flow of the house. So Rasesh, if you were to break that down for me in more simpler terms, what exactly are you referring to? Cement or in yes. terms of synthetic versus processed yes. materials? Uh, cement, granite, quartzite, these are the materials hmm. which emanate tremendous amount of negativity. Uh, in the earlier times, uh, architects never used cement. Right. Uh, in the ancient architecture, they used lime. Uh, today, there is so much of cement being used. Uh, there is so much of uh, granite being used. There is so much of quartzite being used. Granite uh, is a stone which emanates a gas called radon, hmm. which is one of the carcinogen. Uh, Carcinogenic means cancer, cancer radiating causing. material. One should refrain from using granites. People use granite because it is considered to be a very sturdy stone. Uh, but granite has its own implications. Um, it also disturbs the health, uh, the health quotient in the uh, properties disturbed by excessive usage of granite. Ideally, one should use materials uh, that are organic, uh, that emanate positive radiations. According to our research, limestone and sandstone are those two materials which emanate a lot of positivity. Wood is something that should essentially be used. There was something that was very intelligently done in the earlier architecture. Uh, in the ancient times, when they used any natural material, that is any natural stone, uh, for example, marble or a sandstone um, or a wood, they would respect the grain structure. Uh, they would respect its natural orientation. For a moment, think that your door is a piece of tree. And if the tree is put upside down, it would cause a reversal in the flow of energies. So in the earlier times, when they would go to cut a tree for using it in any part of the house, they would mark the top side of the tree, the bottom side of the tree, the inner side of the tree, and the outer side of the tree. And then, that part or that portion of the tree would be fixed in a similar orientation so that the energy flow is not reversed. So, are you trying to suggest that people should use more of marble and wood in their homes yes. as opposed to granite? Yes. And if yes, what is the precaution that needs to be taken care of while purchasing this material? Uh, mm. Correct orientation can only be established with the help of an expert. Because today, everyone cannot go to marble quarries and mark the orientation. Hmm. So there is this instrument that we spoke about, the Lecker's antenna. With the help of this instrument, we can establish the top side of the marble, the bottom side of the marble, the inner side of the marble, and we can come to know its natural orientation. Once we know the natural orientation, the marble floor can be laid accordingly. If you are using wood, the wood can be fixed accordingly. 
all the natural materials that we use um, in in a given space uh, can be fixed based on their natural energy fields. Uh, now, Rasesh, as per my understanding, obviously these days people don't really have a choice. Like they have to use cement or granite or materials like these which are important so in that this sort of a scenario what are the precautions that one can really take from the vastu perspective from a vastu perspective if the house is already done up hmm. the only way out is the non-destructive remedials hmm. uh, we can use more of lime mortar wherever it is possible we can use more of insulators instead of good conductors in today's time and what would those insulators be uh, wood and rubber. Uh, if possible, we could use natural paints. Uh, in fact, uh, there was this very interesting study uh, done in Europe uh, where they were studying the old buildings and they found out that the 70% of the materials that was used was all organic. Hmm. Uh, they used vegetable paints. So, if you use any material, don't think that your house क्योंकि वास्तु के नियम के आधारित बना हुआ है या दिशाओं के आधार पे आपने घर बनाया है तो आपका घर पॉजिटिव होगा मटेरियल्स की आ, अपनी इंपैक्ट है ये सारे के सारे मटेरियल्स अपनी असर छोड़ के जाते हैं पर ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों को इस बात का ध्यान रखना चाहिए कि वो वुड इस्तेमाल करें या ऐसे मटेरियल्स इस्तेमाल करें जिसमें लाइम ज्यादा हो लाइम ज्यादा हो आ, ऐसे मटेरियल्स लाएं जिसमें जो कम केमिकली ट्रीटेड हैं आज पीवीसी एक ऐसा मटेरियल है जो हर कोई यूज करता है पीवीसी इज नॉट ओनली एनवायरमेंटली अनफ्रेंडली बट एट द सेम टाइम इट रिलीजेस अ हाई अमाउंट ऑफ वीओसी राइट पीवीसी को बिल्कुल यूज ना करें वीओसी वुड बी वॉलेटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स करेक्ट करेक्ट व्हिच दोस आर पॉइजनस गैसेस जैसे अगर ग्रेनाइट की ही बात करें तो आपने आ, क्या एडवर्स या नेगेटिव इफेक्ट्स देखे हैं अपने क्लाइंट्स के साथ या लोगों के साथ और किस तरह से वो अफेक्ट हुए हैं इससे मैं घर की आपसे बात करूंगा मैं जिस घर में आ, वास्तु ऑडिट के लिए गया था आ, वहां पे मैंने ग्रेनाइट की आ, पूरे घर में ग्रेनाइट की फ्लोरिंग थी तो जिस घर में ग्रेनाइट की फ्लोरिंग होती है उस घर में आम तौर पे ये देखा जाता है कि लोगों को नीज की प्रॉब्लम होती है। ओके। okay. उस घर में मोस्ट ऑफ़ दी पीपल हु वर लिविंग इन द फैमिली, इरिस्पेक्टिव ऑफ़ द एज, दे हैड नी ट्रबल। यू नो व्हिच इज़ वेरी सरप्राइजिंग फॉर समवन हु इज़ इन हिज अर्ली थर्टीज़ टू हैव अ नी ट्रबल इज़ � so uh, we did a correction where uh, we kind of arrested the radiations which were emanating from the granite floor uh, to reduce the impact aur ek cheez jo dekhi jati hai logo ke beds mein kabhi kabhi log granite ke beds banate hain aur wrought iron beds for that matter of fact wrought iron beds are uh, again something which is very dangerous very dangerous uh, especially in today's uh, electrically charged environment, hmm. if you are sleeping on a wrought iron bed, you are calling for disaster. Uh, being a wrought iron bed, if one uses a wooden bed, because wood is an insulator, yeah. the radiations will not get conducted on the bed and, his, you, and, and the person who is sleeping on that bed, his energy axis will remain in line, in alignment with the energy axis of the earth. So, coming to uh, interiors and coming to mm -hmm. the kind of furniture mm -hmm. that one should use, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of furniture should one try and use? Uh, as I've already said, one should use wood. Mm. One can also use glass, a lot mm. of glass furniture, mm. because glass is an insulator. Mm. Uh, it will not conduct electromagnetic radiations. Uh, one can use uh, rubber wherever it is possible. Uh, one one can use natural materials uh, in the house to uh, to ensure that the energy remains harmonious. Hmm. There is a balance which is constantly maintained. But these days, you know, a lot of people want to keep metallic furniture because it's kind of in and it 
gives a good look to your interiors mm. and you know it's mm -hmm. fancy mm. so that is something that one should ideally stay away from yeah right? but if one wants to then one should use metallic furniture in those areas of the house which are not frequently used like a drawing room like a uh, Again, a living room is a space uh, which is going to be used by almost all the family members, uh, like balconies or those secluded corners, or one has a coffee table because one rarely has the time in. I mean, one rarely right, has the time. Right, in our daily lives with yes. our yeah busy schedules, it's difficult to find the time to have a cup of coffee every day. Right, right, right. At, at in your balcony, yes. Right. That's a great tip, Rasesh. I'm sure our viewers will benefit from that. Welcome back to the Vasu Show. We are in the beautiful home of Mrs. Neetu Rupasiri, one of Rasesh's clients, who will tell us how she brought positivity into her life by using the right building materials. Hi Neetu, welcome to the show. Hello. So Neetu, tell our viewers something about yourself. I am into handicrafts and I am doing this since many years. So Neetu, have you always believed in Vasu? Or have you ever told someone about Vasu? And after that, you have called Rasesh to Vasu audit? As everybody knows about Vastu, मैंने भी बहुत सुना था और मेरे friend ने Vastu करवाया और उनके benefits मुझे बताए। So this is how even that struck my mind कि मुझे रसेश से Vastu करवाना चाहिए। Now रसेश, most people would believe that if they are talking about building materials, that would come into the picture if they are building their house from scratch. Whereas you have made changes in this house. Visibly, the building material mm -hmm. after the house was already there. Mm -hmm. So, what all did you change in this house? Uh, the most uh, important change that we incorporated in terms of the building material was uh, with the temple. Mm -hmm. uh, we've used teak wood for the temple. We have made a teak wood. We have teak wood. We have made a 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 teak sanctity of the temple. We didn't want to disturb the temple of the temple. Neetu, your house is decor, so you put the temple of the temple? Yeah, we painted the temple white to match the decor. Okay. And Rasesh, coming to the house back again, what are the other changes you've made? We've taken great care in planning the house as far as the building materials were concerned. In the kitchen, we used granite on the platform. Because that is one of the sturdiest of the materials, but because. अभी आपने मेरे को बताया that granite is not the best thing. Right, right, right. Because granite emits lot of negative radiations. हमने lime layer spread किया था. There was a lime jelly that was spread before we installed the granite platform. Also, we've used wooden flooring in her daughter's bedroom, which is again in sync with her planetary chart. वो वो मटेरियल उनकी बेटी की कुंडली के साथ मेल खाता है। फिर हमने जो मेन दरवाजा है घर का, जो मुख्य द्वार है, वो भी टी कूट का बनाया है। एंड इट्स अ डबल बैटन डोर, इट्स अ टू लीव डोर। वो एनर्जी की मूवमेंट को बैलेंस करता है। फिर हमने जो घर का मुख्य द्वार है, द मेन डोर ऑफ़ द हाउस has a Burma teak wood threshold installed. वो Burma teak wood की दहलीज लगाई है क्योंकि दरवाजे के ठीक सामने सीढ़ियाँ हैं जो दरवाजे को hit कर रही तो उन सीढ़ियों के violation को neutralize करने के लिए हमने वो Burma teak wood की दहलीज लगाई हुई है। नहीं तो आपने अपने daughter के progress में और उसकी life में overall changes देखे जब Rasesh has changed her bedroom. Yeah, I feel that she has become more confident about her work. Also, the concentration has increased. And as previously, she used to not read a lot. And now, since we have made up according to Vastu, she reads a lot and her English has improved. So, I feel that we have got good results after the Vastu. And how about yourself? Have you seen any changes in your work? After putting the uh, wooden threshold on the Mukhya Dwar, I feel that the financial uh, situation uh, in my business hmm. has increased and improved. So yes, definitely I feel a uh, good change. Also, Rasesh, coming back to her daughter's bedroom, have you also made changes in terms of the directions? Yes, uh, there was a toilet in the northeast corner. Uh, I had advised them to totally eliminate the bathroom structurally. वो बाथरूम को तोड़ना था 
और उन्होंने वो एडवाइस फॉलो की है और हमने वो बाथरूम तोड़ा और मुझे लगता है कि उसके बाद उनकी बेटी को बहुत सारे फायदे हुए this particular design mm-hmm. is a wooden laminate because these square blocks that you see suesha they promote uh, family harmony and because this is the living room uh, so we wanted that kind of an energy and what else uh, we've also done a major correction in the bathroom uh, unfortunately when i visited this site the center of gravity was coming exactly in the bathroom jo ghar ka brahmasthan tha वो बाथरूम में आ रहा था तो जब इन्होंने चेंजेस किए उस वक्त हमने ये ख्याल रखा कि वो जो सेंटर पॉइंट है वो बाथरूम में ना आए तो देव क्रिएटेड अ निश इन द वॉल एंड देव इंश्योर दैट द सेंटर पॉइंट द सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ ग्रेविटी इज नॉट इन द बाथरूम बट इट्स नाउ इन द बेडरूम इट वाज इट डिफिकल्ट टू मेक वास्तु चेंजेस विद द बिल्डिंग मटेरियल्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ सोर्सिंग इट और गेटिंग द राइट मटेरियल्स Uh, no not at all suesha people think that it is a little difficult but no it was uh, quite easy for me to uh, renovate my house in uh, that way how the fish recommended thank you so much situ for having us over you're welcome suesha welcome back to the vastu show in this segment rasesh answers all your questions and as is showing to the first question this is parik from mumbai has emailed us saying that She has recently bought a furnished home in Mumbai. Mm-hmm. So after shifting there, her children became hyperactive. Mm-hmm. Her projects were getting frequent obstacles, and her payments were not coming in on time. Mm-hmm. Is there a vastu remedy that can be used to bring about positivity and happiness back to her family? Mm-hmm. The blueprint. Looking at the floor plan of the house, there are a few uh, concerns which she should be addressing immediately. she has a payment issue uh the payment issue is primarily there because of the kitchen and the uh bathroom being in the north of northeast quadrant okay so if she can do some kind of a vastu correction there her payment situation will possibly improve mm-hmm. she also complains that her children have become hyperactive the bed in the children's bedroom is touching the bathroom wall it is against the bathroom wall and this is uh, responsible for making her children hyperactive the best thing that she could do is uh, she could move her bed away from the bathroom wall mm-hmm. and let there be some air gap between the bed and the bathroom wall so that the energies of the bathroom don't disturb the children when they sleep um, with their head towards the bathroom also she has some complaints with her projects getting delayed uh, i think uh, she should change the uh, opening of her main door the main door is opening anti clockwise which is causing delay in her projects if she can open the door clockwise if she could just change the swing of the door uh, she would not have this complaint moving to the second question rasesh uh, dr kapoor from ludhiana is asking if that his child study table is made up of glass is that okay a uh, glass as a material is absolutely okay uh, because glass is an insulator mm. uh, what he needs to be careful is that it should not be reflective mm. the surface of the table should be non reflective if the surface is non reflective it is absolutely fine what happens if the table is reflective if the glass table is reflective it starts acting like a mirror okay Asish uh, the third question is from Tanvi Malhotra she resides in Ghaziabad her question is that she has recently bought antique furniture for her home she wants to know if this affects her negatively this is a very interesting question suesha uh these days uh, uh colonial antique furniture is in uh people are opting for neo industrial design uh people want distressed look in their homes because that's considered very classy i have seen that sort of uh, furniture in a lot of pubs and bars yes. where they have that distressed wood yes absolutely but one has to be very cautious if one is using any kind of 
antique furniture. Mm. Uh, the reason is because any antique piece of furniture carries the energy of its past owner. Mm. And because it has the energy imprint of its past owner, the furniture that is being used by the present owner mm. will get affected, uh, uh, will, will be subjected to a lot of energy fields which are present in that piece of antique furniture. Mm. Uh, it will have an impact on that thought process. It will also create negative energy field if there are any negative radiations uh, in that piece of antique furniture. But if one, uh, obviously people can't dispose of their antique furniture. Mm. So what can one do to evade the effect? There is a very simple remedy mm. that uh, one could do. Uh, for 28 days, uh, once the furniture is bought, mm. uh, one could clean the furniture mm. with rock salt. Uh, what one has to keep in mind is that one should take lukewarm water, mm. put some rock salt into it mm. and mop the furniture for 28 days. Mm. It will uh, cleanse, uh, it will, uh, it will um, detoxify uh, the energy levels of the furniture at a very subtle level and the negative impact, if any, will get completely neutralized and nullified. This is a very easy way to remove antique furniture from the negative energy. But if you clean it from the clothes, then that doesn't spoil the wood? If it is an antique piece of wood, hmm. it is seasoned. Hmm. So if you clean it from the clothes, then it will not be anything from the clothes. That's a very helpful tip, Rasesh, and also because I have always been interested in antique furniture. So I'm sure like it has helped me, it has helped our viewers to a great extent. With that, we come to the end of our questions and now it's time for us to take the Vasta tip from Rasesh. Tulsi plant is considered to be very auspicious in our culture. It not only has religious significance, but it has a role to play in the Vastu energy also. If a potted tulsi plant is kept in the northeast corner of the house, it brings prosperity, good luck and positive. So place tulsi plants in the northeast corner and change the energy levels of your house for overall well-being and betterment. But Rasesh, I have always heard from my grandmother that the tulsi should always be placed in the center of the house. Is that true? That's true. Because they had courtyards. Right, right. The, the, the central uh, courtyard was always there, it was open. Brahmastan, as we say in Vastu, was always open. It was open to sky. But uh, today, the it's obviously not possible, yes, not possible because possible. yeah, the space is very. Big. It's different. Yeah. We no longer have uh, central courtyards. We don't have Brahmasthans which are open to sky. Hmm. Today the situation is different. Thank you so much for all the information that you've given Rasesh. I'm sure our viewers will be very happy and would be able to use all this information. With that, it's time for us to wrap today's show. We hope you enjoyed watching it. Do keep writing to us and send us your questions. We'll try and take as many questions as possible. Wait for us next week until we come out with another exciting episode on Vastu and explore this science further.